This NFL props week six edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog has just added Pick'em Scorchers, where you can win 100x. Plus, every Sunday they're giving away a hundred thousand dollars. Use promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for a 100% deposit bonus up to five hundred dollars. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get fifty percent off your first month and start making smarter bets today. And we're giving away three thousand dollars in our NFL Second Chance Survivor contest, presented by Corey Pinkston and Barking Dog Properties. Free to enter. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash survivor. The Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. These CFL shirts that we got are oh, fucking yes. comfortable. Shout out to uh, Kyle. Uh, I mean, Vikings I, fan and also Winnipeg Blue Bombers fan. I assume good buddy up north. I assume it's made in America, but it's really comfortable. Uh, The fabric is is amazing, as are the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I can only assume. I can only assume. I didn't actually. I'm not a CFL sharp. My lasers are focused on the NFL. I can't (laughs) say that about everyone in the room. I am rocking my (laughs) Phillies jersey in honor of them. Moving on to the NLCS, but don't worry. I got an Eagles hat on, and joining me in studio, fellow Philadelphia sports fan. You know him. You love him. The man in the box. C.J. Sullivan from the Bottom Line Bombs podcast. What's up, C.J.? What's up? Still dancing on our own. I'm still dancing. I Ryan can't really another Philadelphia thing that makes no fucking sense. What? R- Ryan's Ryan's just in, a, he's just a bitter right. hater. No, I'm not a hater. If the, any other city was doing something this silly, you'd be you, the things you would say about them. Embracing a gay dance anthem. Yeah, yeah, dance exactly. anthem. Well, I don't understand what, what the problem yeah, is. That's baseball. It is. Uh, yeah, and, and obviously it's different it's when baseball. it's your team. Right. It's fun when it's your team. It's something silly and stupid when when someone else's team does it. It's a pretty simple formula. Yeah, it seems like it's a trend at this point with the whole choir thing and these Philly boys. They like <laughs> to sing together. Oh, Ryan's Ryan's jealous of the fight song again. I'm not I'm not I'm just fly, stating facts. Eagles fly. <laughs> oh man, there are so you many keep, of those. Keep singing that. A lot no. of that in the bathrooms. Speaking, lot, speaking oh, of yeah. singing in the bathroom. Yeah, I didn't bathroom. even yeah. I haven't even talked to you right. uh, about the game, CJ. Mm-hmm. Did you guys not see each other at the game? No, we did <laughs> oh, not. Wow. It's so it's so hard to meet up really at is. a game. Well, it's, especially when there's that much green in the stadium yeah. there, you can't pick fellow, each other out. It's not like there's one or the other one. I mean, you know. Yeah, I I I I had a we got the good seats again. Shout mm-hmm. out to Game Time promo code SGPN. Uh, got it. Got some nice seats. Amazing. Had a great time. Eagles won. They got yeah. the cover. Did you have a good fan section as well? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a bunch. Of, there was. There were a couple Rams fans, but even the Rams fans were like, "You guys are cool, man. It's all good." It was a lot of love. A lot of, a lot of like, was. all good, bro. It's, it's kind of a. It's, it's still weird to get used to. The, the the violence isn't as there as much anymore after we've won a Super Bowl and that no, we're, the, and that we're good. The, you know what I mean? Edge, yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird. Two. <laughs> I gave two quick. I'll give a quick game ball. Uh, there was two fans in our section that was great. Well, one Rams fan was good. He was listening to the local radio listening. Oh wow! I thought those guys went away <laughs> on the Ram radio. The, 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 was it wired or Bluetooth? <laughs> yeah, oh, it was wired. Uh, <laughs> can't have anyone tapping into those right. communications channels. One guy was cosplaying as Jim McMahon, but I don't think he was really cosplaying. <laughs> but he had Jim McMahon Eagles jersey and the beer in the pocket. He looked beautiful. But the woman, the game ball Eagles fan at this Rams game in my row, I was in the aisle. So she would come by, she would come by, you know, we'd get up for her to get out in and out pretty much every 20 minutes to get a double salty dogs. She had the Vince Papali Jersey invincible, <laughs> a me- her own mesh hat that said still fuck Dallas or every time. And, yeah. then, and every time she'd go by, she'd like try to like, you know, 
force some conversation with us. Like she'd make an excuse of why she's going out. Like don't have any kids. Might as well take advantage. Like something <laughs> like that. Like, you don't have to make an excuse every time yeah. you want to get fucking yeah. knocked back. Not driving. So, all right, we get it. It's the second quarter, but all right. <laughs> it's the same yeah. racket that happens at the volleyball scene, except for it's uh, a grown adults making excuses to go to the crappy food stand and get nachos <laughs> with, with like whiz oh. cheese melted on top. <laughs> I love it. That is that's rough. No, it is rough. It's but I, I thought the I thought the stadium itself was nice. Uh, it was amazing. Oh, yeah, oh, it was your well, first time at SoFi. Yeah, first that's time right. SoFi. I'm, a, I'm a veteran. I I said it to Kramer almost. And Kramer, I thought uh, I was just fucking with Colby. I go, I kind of regretted not bringing my sunglasses because there. Were, I, I felt like I was getting a decent amount of sun. Whatever yeah. that tarp thing is. So I will say that that. I, I didn't even think about I, so both times I was there is at night and I thought yeah, it was cool right. how you could see through. Yeah, didn't even think about the idea that you'd be getting. Uh, yeah, a I mean I had sun. a hat on so it wasn't no, I get bad. It. I, but I, I, I would have. I probably would have if I had my shades. I would have put them on. Well, you know when I'm sitting in the backyard by the pool, got the pergola. Sometimes Hilarious. the sun leaks through. Hilarious L.A. complaints about a professional <laughs> football game. It's a little sunny. <laughs> Come on, but it, it is nice how you can feel the breeze from the yeah, outside. It's, that it's that is it's helpful. Amazing. You don't it, open air stadium. It it does feel different, and I I do like it better than the uh, Raiders. I mean, the Raiders stadium is fun because it's like in Vegas, but yeah. this at least feels you at least feel a little bit outside. Did yeah, it feel sure. like you could actually have a like an energy in the building if if one team filled it? Because it, it visually it's when loud. It's, I mean, so it's so loud. It does in there. get decently. So loud. I was yeah. I was there for like something where it was twenty percent full, and it just seemed like the way the levels were spaced out. Mm -hmm. uh, I, a, I thought, I thought it was it it's dug in the ground, so it isn't right. vertical. Right. But it did seem kind of like a strange, almost like a basketball stadium vibe. But yeah, I mean that's cool to see here. It's loud. It's very loud, and apparently it's not good for concerts. The noise, when oh, I see the way the acoustics are set up. Too loud. It, well, yeah, just the way it travels isn't great, I guess. But but for games, it's amazing. Uh, right. I, I mean, we're that was all for Cole. That whole segment was yeah, for just Cole. to rub it in Cole. Yeah. <laughs> we're burying the lead, uh, CJ. Yeah. The streets were talking about your historic uh. run on last week's prop show, including, I mean, what was the biggest hit? Was it the Josh Downs ladder? I brought, I brought the receipts. <laughs> yeah, literal, literal physical <laughs> Let me, receipts. Oh, you're, you're pouring through. Oh, here it is. I had the. Um, Yep, the Josh Downs ladder. Oh, that's a fake screenshot. You you photoshopped that screenshot. This is from this is from the clipboard. This is from the clipboard. Clear photo. So you know you know it's official. Clear when it photo. From, when it comes from the clipboard. Josh Downs eighty. It only it went only it went up to eighty yards. Yeah. yeah. That was sort of top thought the ladder top I, I thought. I saw you hit ninety seven and I go, oh man, I hope yeah. you didn't throw in a hundred and oh. barely right. get screwed. But I would have. If, if, if they would have gave it to me, I would have. <laughs> and that was at plus eight fifty. And uh, we had that we had that parlayed with Jim. man. This was going to be amazing. Oh, oh. With Connor with that Connor, but Connor went down with the injury. We had I mean a hundred. If Con oh, Connor was a hundred yards, that was an eighty to one parlay. What did Connor, Connor went hit. out with? What fifty eight? Yeah, something like that. And he was on his way. Oh, he was well on his way. On his way. <laughs> they were not. And Rico him down. Palazzo came in and filled. They should have combined his stats in there. <laughs> God, I mean, yeah, you're, we had a hundred and thirteen to one parlay. Per if Connor hits hundred twenty, perfectly sound Woo. ladder, and it just snapped. Yeah, yeah. that's a lawsuit. That's that's lawsuit lawsuit right to happen. It started out as like a legit step ladder. You right. got it going to that regular. It was almost the fire truck ladder, which I want to introduce that. Someone walked under it. Yeah. Bad luck. Ca cause the, uh, the cause fire the ladder. truck ladder. I yeah. like that. Cause you couldn't, you can't have a bigger ladder than a fire truck ladder. All right. It's impossible. And it keeps on okay. shooting up. Ryan, tell me a bigger ladder. I I've, I've watched, I've seen some pretty amazing uh, ladders that I, I guess. <laughs> well, so a man, ladder talk. Well, I love. Well, you know, you watch those, uh, those, those shows with like the the dump, the big ass fucking like uh, right. what's construction the, ladders. What's I the, imagine the, the, like, no, it's like modern mar marvels of like mm -hmm. engineering. And yeah, some of the some of the crazy ass fucking like crane ladder things they do to like construct yeah, scaffolding like, on the side of like those old. Photos, those black and white photos of New York construction when they're eating lunch on a <laughs> on a beam. Those ladders took them up there like 120 a flights. Fire, fire yeah. truck ladder is pretty big though. For sure, a, for a typical it's civilian, well, that's probably the biggest. And it's one. very retractable. Typical civilian. When Connor's, I feel like when Connor's leg goes out. You didn't, you, you didn't any, all that you described. None of that was a ladder. What do you mean? <laughs> I, all right, I'll we'll, I'll get receipts. I'll get pictures. All right. Marble ladders. Hey, come uh, at me with my ladder knowledge. Uh, man, we got we got. When's the last time you were on the ladder, motherfucker? Me? Yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't keep. My, I don't keep ladder receipts, right? I live yeah. in the ladder moment. You, you get I don't someone look else in my to ladder, climb a ladder for I you. I don't look in the ladder. Listen, CJ view. and I, we climb yeah, our we own climb fucking la- ladders. <laughs> we bag our own groceries. Yeah, if I need to go clean the gutters, I'm up there on the ladder. Hey, uh, have you guys entered the second chance survivor contest? I don't know what you're. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Three thousand dollars up for grabs, completely free, winner take all. Shout out to Corey Pinkston, Barking Dog Properties, for putting that up. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash survivor second chance. It starts next week. So sign up now. Uh, and uh, so you don't miss it. there. very easy to get going. And of course, we're also brought to you by little Caesars. Love me some little Caesars, little Caesars, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Make it a part of your game day. Get that four quarter calzone just piled high with delicious toppings stuffed into that calzone <laughs> crust. I mean, I, I can just, I can hear them, them the, uh, the hungry moans coming from uh, CJ next yeah. to me. He's thinking of that, that pepperoni Regretting. pretzel crutz. Just piled high. And I, so, I love how they throw the two liter of Pepsi. You got to get regular Pepsi too. Yeah. If you're getting little yeah, Caesars, come on. You're, doing? Pull, pull this, over, you're guys. going, yeah. you're going, you're going big. They also have these. I, I haven't like Icarus. I'm worried if I may fly too close to the sun mm. if I get the stuffed <laughs> pretzel crust. That's, that's just sounds amazing. Uh, Detroit deep style, uh, sorry, Detroit style deep dish is on my list. Crazy bread, the cookie dough brownies, so much. Those good cookie stuff. dough brownies we got last time. <laughs> oh, I, remember, hello. I mean, so much chocolate. You, you could sell them under the highway <laughs> for by the gram. Yeah, those things are pure street drugs. They are delicious. Uh, uh, I was high for a week after eating like half of one of those. <laughs> Do, I mean, the chocolate is. Uh, you get that cookie dough sugar high. It was it's awesome. Great. Yeah, it was awesome. Delivery or our in store pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends, grab some slices, and uh, get some during the game. Of course, one hour before, three hours after NFL kickoffs, plus all day Sunday. Little Caesars, pizza, pizza. Kramer, let's they, do it. Yeah, let's just get the uh, liquid version of that so we can just oh. right into the vein. No, oh, I'm down. If they, if they made a cookie dough brownie <sighs> shake. Uh, you know, cookie dough is one of those things I didn't like as a kid, but at when, you know, when the kids get the cookie dough ice cream, I act like I don't like it. But then the ice cream monster oh. shows up <laughs> late at night. All of a sudden, just wake like up, clockwork. All the, all the, uh, all the, all the, uh, all the ice cream. Weird. Gone. The ice cream monster doesn't like mint chocolate chip mm. for some reason. I don't know. It's gross. All right, let's start. I'm gonna stand on the hill. We'll we'll start with this one. But Lamar Jackson has has a day, I mm. believe, this weekend. I. I thought about playing the combo yards, but just going passing. I think they attack this Tennessee uh, defense like a, a couple other teams have. Remember, Deshaun Watson looked pretty good against this t- Titans defense. Uh, Lamar, I'm Mark, not touching Deshaun Watson. Lamar uh, <laughs> over two twenty, higher than two twenty four and a half passing yards. Hmm. Numbers pretty low. Uh, he hasn't performed all that well. This is a clear easiest mark on the on the calendar in terms of defense and. Uh, also has the weapons back. Mark Andrews, everyone's there. So yeah, this is the the first Ravens prop I'll take over. And oh by the way, they've been over in London for a long time, training <laughs> at the very nice facilities of no Titan way, Hotspur. No way could it go wrong for them. Ti- the Titans, I mean, w- boots on the ground. Titans looking sluggish at practice on Friday. <laughs> at walkthrough. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, if you like objective news, I do. From reported from the scene. They're practicing on a golf course. Are they know? practicing with a football? Were they practicing with like a rugby ball or something? Is that what? And then we talked about his receivers were dropping everything last week. That was an interesting story that came out about the Ravens yeah. that they were practicing with a rugby ball. Right. And then people made the whole conclusion like, oh, the rugby ball is fatter than the football. Yeah. If they weren't having their hands so far apart, they would have caught those <laughs> those it. balls. What are they doing? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you practice with a rugby ball? They have enough issues with fumbling, ball mm-hmm. control, interceptions. Lamar's a turnover machine. Maybe he gets there yards wise, but I'm out on, on on the Ravens as a as a team for this week. Wow. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Good. I, yeah. So well, that that's that's prop number one. Prop number one I for like Kramer. It. CJ, how Especially say you? Since they're there that early, yeah, they're they're preparing. <laughs> He's going to be lighting it up. Right. I want to fire off of the quarterback. I like that quarterback prop. Yeah. Um, a man we saw in person last week, Matty Stafford, Matthew Stafford. Love him this week. Getting, uh, getting Cooper cup back. And what I loved about getting Cooper cup back, Puka 
wasn't hurt at all. No. He was still a part of the offense. They're unstoppable. Two, two. I know they're un, they are unstoppable. And now you got Arizona at home. Um, they've given up the six most yards allowed to quarterback positions. And I now he's he's not going to run at all. They also give up rushing to the quarterback. So his prop is uh, I think it's two eighty, which isn't which is fine. He'll fly over that. But I'm liking his touchdown passes. Ooh. I think he has. A, I think he has a. Uh, what do they set that? Pretty good chance. One and a half is okay. the e- easy prop we're heading up. But if you want to run the ladder, get the running, ladder. Running out. Quarterback ladder. I like a staff ladder. We. Does this it, is more of a step ladder. A nice staff ladder. This will get your cat out of the tree. I, I, you know, we're not going to. We uh, need. A, we, I think a bunk bed ladder. A right. bunk bed ladder is what three, four yeah, steps. Yeah, yeah. It's, kinda, it's a little bit more than the step they're, ladder. They're right. tricky though because they're very straight up, and <laughs> yep. you kind of run out of things to grab onto. Trust me. Three passing touchdowns, we can get that. That's a plus one fifty. That's oh, no problem. Okay, we'll wow. get you that. Four passing touchdowns, oh, 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 oh. plus three eighty four. Oh my god! And I think Arizona's going to put up some points. I think it's going to be a big. I Ooh, think it's going to be an absolute. Push a bit? I think it's going to be an absolute I, shootout. I like I like Stafford for DFS. Yeah, I, I, I love like, I love Stafford this week. Period. Five touchdown passes oh, plus wow. nine fifteen. Oh Come my on god. now. Oh my god. Let's see how far this ladder goes up. They now say that's not a fire get, truck they, ladder. They right. say to be careful to uh, not get on that top stuff. Yeah, it gets wobbly yeah. up there, but I'm not, I'm not scared. Thin. Yeah, yeah, I'm not scared. Just don't look down. That's all. That's yeah. all I have to tell you. He can he can throw for 200 yards even and still throw five touchdowns. Oh yeah, against this Arizona defense. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm with you. Uh, while we're talking passing touchdowns, this guy's taking a lot of slander. He's taking a bunch of shots. He's gotten back up. Give me Justin Fields. Yes. Over. One and a half passing touchdowns. That is set at plus one ninety. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. He's had eight in the last two games. He's going up against his Vikings defense. I, I understand it might be a little windy, but this guy has he's got his confidence back. He's got his swagger. They're at home. They have a little extra rest. Two passing touchdowns. I don't care if you're if you're Zach Wilson or Desmond Ritter. Two passing <laughs> touchdowns at plus oh, one ninety. That's a great price. He's second in the league in passing touchdowns. <laughs> I know he led the league until he, the weekend. Yeah. He, he's uh, he's <laughs> falling. Kirk love Cousins with number Fields. one, so maybe they push him. Plus one ninety. Great. Pick. I love that pick. Ryan, are you? Well, you're on Minnesota, but do you like that? I'm crossing. My are you on Minnesota? You like Cousins' comments? Not worried about the trade. He's focused on the Bears and going one and zero this week. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Cousins. I, I just um, <laughs> he's I re- such a nerd. Yeah, I, yeah, you know. I refuse to buy the Bears at this high point. Refuse. Mm. You like that? I mean, they're still a home like dog. That. If you were talking about them being favored, mm. uh, I, I still they're not I, winning. J- Justin Fields doesn't win back. I, I, I get what you're saying, mm. and I get what you're saying of, of the line you. moving, but th- you know this to me, they're they're still a home dog against a one win team. Yeah. So it's not. I don't think it's that high. Well, the the one win team is uh, they're due for some very positive regression. <laughs> is that something we're going to just keep saying every week? No, but this week uh, Minnesota's not going to turn it over in the well, red zone. They're going to get all the fumble it. luck back in yeah. this game. Fumble if you're con- if you're constantly regressing back towards the mean, then yeah, do you ever stop regressing? It's a great question. <laughs> yeah. Craig? All right, I'm I I I just I'm looking at my list and I realize I'm very quarterback heavy this mm. week. Zach Wilson. Uh, shout out to underdog. Zach Wilson's fumble prop over there. Oh, are you on this as well? Two to one. Yes. Yeah, it's very spicy. Um, you look at his. He didn't lose a fumble last game, but he fumbled twice. He's fumbled uh, three times in the past two yeah, games. Also, also fumbled the week before. <laughs> yes. I I'm not sure who's pricing this. The offensive line is down. One of their better linemen and Vera Tucker, and they're playing the Eagles. What am I missing? I had the same handicap. He's in my underdog. One hundred percent. And you know what? I'll make a bold prediction. Not only is he going to fumble, but one of the fumbles is going to be him throwing the ball backwards, like not knowing which direction he's throwing. <laughs> <laughs> even <laughs> even calling your shot on the type of fumble. Yes, I'm never on been this. more certain about anything in my life. <laughs> Jalen Carter though uh, did uh, pop up on the injury report with an ankle injury. Oh, That's- what happened? He was. I don't know. Maybe lead, maybe lead foot, foot uh, d- uh, dealing with uh, on the ankle. That's not funny. That's now not Fletcher funny. Cox is is back. I, either way, I think Hassan Reddick is really going to have a day against those tackles. Can you imagine if Sirianni made a joke about Jalen Carter street racing, like like uh, like Kevin O'Connell did, did about, about Jordan, Jordan Addison? Addison. Yeah, I, whoa. I, I don't. I yeah. I don't think it was a veterinary emergency. <laughs> all right, his dog really had to get to the vet. That, they have a lot of those down in Georgia. 
Speaking of vets and speaking of dogs, underdog fantasy promo code SGPN. Kramer just gave out one of his spicy plays. The five props, uh, the the five picks that I have here. If you play them on underdog and uh, go five for five on these, because I have a couple scorchers Whoa. in there, you uh, it's a hundred x. So I already put it in twenty five to win twenty five hundred. Let's freaking go! Uh, of course, the resurrection draft underdog fantasy promo code SGP and CJ, a hundred percent deposit bonus, also up to five hundred dollars, limited time. Wow! Yeah, also seamless. Sh- uh, shout out to the uh, <laughs> someone hit slid into the DMs. He got hit by the spam filter because the name was like at Rick eight nine four six five five five, and and asked about the erection draft. I mean, how, you can't. You could. I mean, I think it was an attempt at a joke. When to call. But you can't possibly have listened to that. Come on. Right. Yeah, CJ, so. what do you got? What's your second prop? Well, I couldn't get a number on it yet, but I this is this is one of many oh. that I'll hear of later on. But I'll just choose some. Method. I'll stay in that Rams Cardinals game. And I'm going with Zach Ertz. Oh, the Rams yeah. give up the, the Rams give up the third most yards at tight ends, and. um he still gets an amazing amount of target shares for him. So uh, anytime touchdown is uh, plus two hundred, I believe, and that's a spicy that's a spicy uh, pepper ball. That's a spicy meatball. Yeah, for uh, for he your had, underdogs. He had one last week. It was yep. the first of the season. It was, but we just saw in person Dallas Goddard have a really good game against that Rams defense. Absolutely. Would not be shocked if Zach right. Ertz also has a big. Game. I like his yards. I can't imagine. His, I imagine his yards would be around what? What would you think that'd be? Twenty eight and a half, something like that. Yeah. So, it's like it's sub thirty. Yeah, right. Are you worried? Kramer was pointing out to me that Trey McBride was popping his popping oh, his head up. Are you worried about? I'm not worried about Trey McBride. Yeah, I. It's weird they drafted him decently yeah. high, and he is just. Str- I mean, I Zach Ertz, for both of them. Zach Ertz dragging his you know ACL leg uh, at at his age, and he's still beating down Trey McBride. And he's kind of like the tight end Adam Thielen for me. Like yeah. get, get him while he's still out there, because he's not going to be out there all year. <laughs> you know, so take advantage of this, right. and you're going to get a 28 and a half numbers against this against this uh, this defense that lets up everything uh, tight end. So. I, I got to get in here, Adam Thielen. Anytime touchdown <laughs> is plus two twenty five. Yes. Just keep playing these fucking Adam Thielen props, I mean, right? I, I, he's going to be my broken record play of the day, but you think he scores? Yes. Uh, because I think there's a, there's a world where the game gets out of hand and we saw it. They, <laughs> yeah, they, every Carolina yes, game, it, every Carolina <laughs> game, they're playing in garbage time. He's the only guy who yeah. it can catch uh, for them. They've had eight offensive touchdowns. Three of them have gone to Adam Thielen. That's an incredible yeah. percentage is any times plus two twenty five. Again, if you put him in underdog, you can get that spicy, uh, spicy play there. But he's just is their only receiver. And then you you heard all this uh, stuff about uh, Frank Reich and basically pointing out that the owner is a real bully and like uh, real yeah, hands on owner. Yeah, yeah, he's not he's not looking to sit down and, and you know read verses from the book. He's looking to get results. Yes. Yeah. No, I I love uh, I love Adam Thielen. Get him in your DraftKings lineup. Get him in your, I mean, anything you can get going. With do we Adam do we Thiel. have that interview where he uh, lied to us right in our face? <laughs> I'm re- still re- really mad that? that Adam Thielen at the Super Bowl nah, goes. Just, yeah, I, I definitely want to be back. I'll, I'll be back uh, in Minnesota. Let's, let's we'll pull, figure this out. Sean's normally the guy that holds the grudge. If the company needs to hold a grudge, <laughs> Sean's the one holding. Oh it yeah, definitely. I'm down to hold a but grudge. But he's over here bending over, spreading his fucking ass cheeks for Adam Thielen well, all season. Well, I think that's why we all just like left him for dead when he left when he went to Carolina because we're like, uh, well, if Minnesota let's doesn't be want, yeah. like if Minnesota doesn't want you, then they must know you have nothing right. left because like they're the only ones that liked you in the first place. It's a white angle thing. Very <laughs> white angle. He's he's the MVP. He, he's, I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. White angle sports. Great route runner. Ooh, absolutely. Great <laughs> route runner. Chris runs the tree. <laughs> knows, mean, he knows the offense. Yep. <laughs> Can you even tell what he's gonna do? He he sits down in a route. He knows of a uh, you know zone or a man to man. So clean, just <laughs> yeah. the stem. It's beautiful. Hustle, yeah. hustle. Great. It really the, separates at the stem. Great in the uh, uh, great, great in the uh, great in the film room. Hands you don't have to talk about. I mean those. <laughs> great with the media too. Lies. Max right through in the teeth. YouTube chat saying going to be a fantastic receiver coach one day. That, oh. That's that's right. That's textbook white angle. Yeah. Co- the next Brian Hartline. Oh, no, maybe. look out. Uh, all right, Kramer, your third ready? prop. Ready for quarterback prop number three? Yeah. Mac Jones, again returning to the scene of the crime. I love this. Who can forget? <laughs> I love this. It's Mac a Jones over. Fucking wheel, 
the AK man. AK higher five and a half rushing yards. Mm. Sean, if you had to guess, how many times has he gone over this number this year? Oh man, I'm gonna guess three, four. Okay. The only time he didn't was last week in that uh, in his second benching mm. against New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, so if he can they're stay now, out on the field, he'll get those five and a half rushing yards. They're now going back to the scene of the crime, uh, playing against a team who a has a pass rush and Max Crosby. And we'll sit back predictably and uh, in some sort of shell, giving him some opportunities to break off some runs. Yeah. So I yeah I don't know why this is five and a half when he again he's he's only not hit this total uh, one time last week. So you know by the dip, Mac Jones by they, the may, dip, McCorkle. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean I guess maybe he doesn't start. We're fucked. Then we just no. Then, then it's void. You don't even have to worry about it. All right, so Kramer, you've given out three. I think we've all given out three. CJ, why don't you kick us off? What's your uh, fourth? That's my here? third, I believe. Yes. So what's your? What do you got here? He let off the third. I was gonna go Mac Jones over half a tackle. Scene of the crime. <laughs> to reenact that thing. Do you remember? Do they have Mac Jones defi- defensive props? Everyone's still there. Jacoby <laughs> Myers is there. They're all different. <laughs> Josh, uniforms. if you could pull- Jones might be in therapy, oh, but whatever, I- in jail. But you know. Whatever. All the all the players are in the state of Las Vegas yeah. for this game. Yeah, for that but famous. I, it play. really is like one of those mob movies where mm-hmm. they all get together for that dinner yeah, and right. then people just start getting <laughs> whacked. <laughs> um, all right, I'll just go go real quick. Not over half a tackle for Mac Jones. Oh, oh if they that would have been a but juicy ladder. That, right. <laughs> Maybe go go over at one and a half too. Get crazy. I know if I could have got if I could have got Jacoby involved somehow if they could have uh, switched sides, but uh, for the man that they did push Adam Thielen out for sort of in this game now with Justin Jefferson out of the oh. game bail there to Minnesota Chicago, I'm gonna go with KJ Osborne. Mm. Now everyone likes Jordan Addison, he has a number, but Osborne gets 20 percent of the target shares. This is before Jefferson even went down, and the Bears give up the like like the 12th most of wide receiver yards. They have their secondary still banged up. I think a big. Uh, Game of that his his numbers are pretty low three and a half and forty and a half are his props I'm looking at I think he goes over I think first of all he's going to be the number one reception wise he's going to fly past that and forty and a half yards I'm not ready to run the KJ ladder mm. it's going to be be very windy but I think right. he, but I think he hits this number pretty easy I I think we need to have a quick conversation about um, like there's this. All right, so there's a lot of new metrics out there. Some and a lot of them are basically sourced from guys making minimum wage or less watching the game and like logging stuff. Careful, Ryan. We don't need an Evan Neal incident on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, like people are starting to cite these like, well, like this many first target opportunities mm. and this many first look, yeah, yeah, first look targets. The guy. Do how much do we really feel like? Do we really (laughs) feel good about these entry level guys? Like, (laughs) okay, you think he uh, he's got he's got that one right a hundred percent. I just I I think uh, I don't know KJ Osborne. I like the angle. Uh, Addison's hurt too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's it's seeming more and more like whatever is wrong with him is is actually an injury. So. But yeah, I just I see the I see so much reliance on some of these 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 basically subjective metrics, and it's like d- this is some guy who's definitely smoking weed, eating some Cheetos. You're saying he's gen- is he's saying that's weed. bad, or is he dialed in? He's right? de- I think saying these Gen Zers are phoning it in. <laughs> they got a deadline. Here you go. Just make this up. And I send see it qu- off. Right? I see the quality of work from young people. Yeah. yeah. I right. don't think this is something where like I it's just iron is shot or sharpening iron over here. I I, I think. So. I think I they think, keep getting on your lawn too. Sean, going, you, can, you can appreciate this, right? <laughs> all right, just get the fucking thing done and it's out. Good, we got the data. Yeah. Look, we got look at all this fucking data we got. Yeah, people click sell, on it. Sell, who sell, cares? sell, right. sell, 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 sell. Data, 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 data. And people are like, yeah, look at the twenty percent target share. So I. <laughs> so Ryan's saying, be skeptical of these first look. No, I, what I want I is someone to read. This is just straight yeah. up twenty. I want to know here. someone. There's someone out there that's doing their ho- their own handcrafted artisanal yeah. metrics. 
they should reach out to me. Okay, slide what? into Kramer's DM. There was that guy X. at the conference that one time that had that ref data. Was, oh, that was, was great. Like, he was sliding around this conference with a laptop, like, "Hey guys, you got to see this." He, he, the Etsy <laughs> of uh, statistics. He, he definitely reminded me of Charlie in that Always Sunny <laughs> episode because he was just like very frantic. He's okay, so we know. We know. So what we do is we pull, scrape all that data from social media, and when everyone says a bad call is loading up, then we know those refs are more likely to make a makeup oh. call. And what we do, we backtrack it. It's we, a we jump. We back test to the data. <laughs> we back test the data from from refs that we know are more prone to makeup calls. This is creating a new live betting opportunity that the market has never seen. Oh, this is amazing <laughs> <laughs> for makeup calls. I was oh. like, oh man, yeah, you are I mean, deep. You I are love deep. it. I love the you know. Let's sure. let's keep uh, let's keep prodding and. Kramer, Getting, did you give out your pick? I don't think you did. The third prop? Uh, yeah. Or no, you. No, I, he gave out his third. My third was KJ. I think it's on you now. Okay. No, because I gave out three because I was on the Adam Thielen, no, you Zach just, Wilson, you Justin Fields. You, just, yep. you couldn't help but get that Adam Thielen prop out there. Kramer, what's your fourth prop? Well, it's another quarterback. Oh, here we unbelievable. Go. Uh, so Joe Burrow, just gonna get ahead of it. He's par- he's Joe healthy. Burr. I was wrong last week, mm-hmm. so I'm maybe overreacting this week, mm. but. Think he has another game against this Seattle defense that hasn't exactly been great. I know there's been some hype around the cornerbacks there, but I think Burrow has a game. I'm not going to attack the yards though. I'm going to go with pass attempts, 36 and a half. I cer- I thought about Chase too, but when I saw the the attempts down at 36 and a half, he's again he's got he's actually gone over that in f- three out of five games this year. Considering he played like uh, dog shit in a lot of these games. Uh, and went well, well under the yardage total in those games. felt felt like a good way to play it last week in kind of the breakout game where they won by two touchdowns. So they were up and were up a decent amount of that fourth quarter. Still had forty six attempts. Yeah, let's go. Oh, a higher thirty six and a half pass attempts for Joe Burrow. Joey he's B. He's, he's back. back. They're gonna win like eight. They in beat a row Arizona. Now. He's back. Although I did, I did just see. <laughs> I did. Well, well, Arizona's frisky. They only lost they, by. No, they are frisky. They, they only lost by nineteen against the Forty Nine. Not the first time I thought a team was back after beating Arizona. Oh wow! Rare dig. Rare dig. Uh, CJ, yeah, CJ, how much do the Giants have to lose on Monday night for Giants fans to be mad at Brian? The Dable? fuck does that have to do with anything? We're not talking. I have about a Giant. I have a Giants prop oh, coming stop. up. Stop it. No, well, it's actually a pro Bills prop. Well, well sure, absolutely. Yeah. I that too. It's actually Brian, my, Brian ma- it's actually my not, main one. Yeah, he's not the conversation. <laughs> I'm right making now. a. Uh, we're trying a, to we're trying to change the conversation. The Brian Dable revenge or return? He's more of a re- Daddy Dable's yeah. back. Yeah, Daddy Dable's back. Josh, Josh Allen's having nightmares. He's gonna be inspired. Sleeping on his back. Back from uh, Europe. Yeah, he's gonna bring out the old wing places. It's All gonna right. be great. So. I, I, I'm done giving out quarterback props. Jeez, okay, so God, stay tuned. Yeah. Such a I'm just making announcements like the Browns. Your pretty boy parlays. It's amazing. <laughs> See, that's Colby's influence right there. Mm-hmm. Calling the quarterbacks pretty, pretty boys. boys. Yeah, yeah, I hear you guys. You, just, part, you, get your, you get your you get your little C block. Yeah. Like, hey, fuck quarterbacks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be I just, sitting out there. I, and all I, so all like, this is like, oh, we got a yapper. We got a yapper. <laughs> the C the C block might. You as guys well. really feed off each other. It's we a might very as well do, we might as well record on a front porch somewhere <laughs> instead of getting actually to. Yeah, just have, your chairs. Yeah, yeah. chairs. Uh, drinking, drinking out of a cooler. Working on a car. Some mason jar. Being able to heckle some people. Yeah, walking mason right. jar shine. <laughs> Again, shout out to Weehawk, a listener who actually sent us moonshine. Appreciate that. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, CJ. Prop. All right. Uh, so this was gonna be my main prop. Try to repeat of last week's uh, oh, ladder see. where I would have pulled out the ladder, but the numbers aren't up. So I'll just give it out there for. To throw it out there. I, sorry, I, I got another ladder I'll do for the okay. fifth one. I, I I can audible. I know how to do it. But for the Monday night, this is what I this is what I look for when I found when I found. I'll bring you behind the music a little bit here Ooh. with the old Josh Downs. <laughs> behind the picks, right? When you look for the value of the ladder, of course, you want to look for someone with a really low number that can hit a very achievable number. Mm-hmm. You don't want someone that's going for 150 yards. You want someone that's going to ah. hit like 80 yards, like for Downs, who was a technically a number three receiver, but producing at a number two level. For the Colts, and this is what I think we have here with the Dallas Charger Monday Night game, with Michael with uh, ah, Michael Gallup, who is technically their three receiver, but he's playing like their number two ahead of Cooks. Yeah, Cooks is crap this year. Absolutely, he's got an eighty-two percent snap share for your yeah, your Gen yeah. Z we'll stat like guys. Like the last three weeks, he's had an eighteen uh, percent target 
uh, ratio there per game, whatever. Don't don't get him to don't don't say the T word around Kramer. Make yeah. it fired up. He hates all that. And they uh, go, and targets now, are pretty. Safe. Now listen, they can't fuck that up. Me and Mike McCarthy have been doing twenty hour work days. <laughs> you were locked in the box. We hunkered down. I ignored the family. <laughs> You even told your coworkers, don't go home to your families. <laughs> All right. We got to figure out what's going on here with this next ladder. <laughs> Imagine like- how paint someone I, I saw commented that the smell uh, emanating from that office must be insane. Remember when he made up that whole thing when he was about, out of- about doing film study? Right. Yeah. I watched I, all I, the films. I don't believe this. Yeah, for a whole year's in his house, he wouldn't talk to his wife yeah. watching all these games to find out what the new offense is. <laughs> So, hey, what, so which which film did you watch? Right. All of it. Yeah, I watched all of it. All the film. What did you come up with? We don't do motion. That's what I come up with. Uh, great, but, great fix. But I think the defense is obviously gonna be a little different between San Francisco and the LA Chargers yeah. in the secondary. Dak's gonna have a big bounce back game. I love Dak. Be- I love Dak because he's so inconsistent. He's a good, <laughs> he's a good guy, and everyone like burns his jerseys every, yeah. after every week. They use it as a mop, and then they act like it's the American flag. Like that's that's too much. You're desecrating <laughs> a Dak Prescott jersey. Like calm down. It's- Has Skip uh, done his uh, <laughs> right any sketches his trash recently? can thing? Yeah, he did a sketch after last week, and then, but now it's gone viral. Everyone does it now. There's a guy in the barber shop who shattered a painting of him. <laughs> <laughs> like there's glass everywhere. Like this is dangerous. My my f- favorite is like. <laughs> those stage videos where it's like, Oh no, the cowboy fan gets angry. And he like pulls out a gun and shoots yeah, his right. TV. <laughs> I like, know, right. TVs are like $35. Yeah. Now. What are we talking about? So I think Dak's going to have a bounce back game versus charge of defense. That I, is a disgusting I, act. I'm going to, I'm going to guess the Gallup's uh, hundred yard is around 10 to one. Yeah. That's what I'd imagine. I imagine you can get him around 80 to 90, something, to something, around, something in that range, maybe there. even a little bit more, very similar. To uh, downs last week, so when the numbers come out, I'm recommending any 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 and all Michael Gallup yardage. I just can't wait for the uh, CJ Canva job to to <laughs> tap, tap that one out there. <laughs> hey, uh, we got more props on the way. Just a friendly reminder: this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's right. Uh, there's been so many times in my life where I'm like, oh, I should mm. do this. This is good for me. This is good for my brain, and then I end up doing the opposite. You ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? I I've had that feeling a million of times. You, you're sitting there, you're trying to go to bed. Your your thought, your mind is just racing with all these thoughts. You haven't gotten them out. Uh, and you know, better help is is a great way to to get some help. Uh, if you haven't ever tried therapy, this is an easy point of entry. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. Very simple, very easy. You don't have to leave your house. You can do it online. You know, it, you don't have to drive across town, worry about parking and, and interacting with someone. And it's, it's very easy too. like, if you, if you fill out a questionnaire, if you're matched up with a therapist, you don't like the therapist, you can switch it at any time. No additional charge, very easy to deal with. And they suit it to your schedule, flexible, convenient, basically all your excuses for why you shouldn't be going to therapy. And I've talked to some of our listeners. Yeah. Hey, it's not, it's, it's okay. If you need a little help, don't worry about it. We all could use someone to talk to make your brain, your friend with better help. Visit betterhelpcom slash SGPN to get 10% off your first month. That's B E T T E R help.com slash S G P N. I'll help you guys with yeah. my next prop. Please and do. And it is a Stefan Diggs over 83 and a half receiving yards. Mm. I Giant secondary, from what I can, what I've seen, has trouble slowing down receivers. Stephon Diggs has gone over a hundred yards in four out of his last five games, and and Josh Allen seems genuinely scared not to throw Stephon Diggs the ball. So he will get the targets, he will get the catches, he will get the yards. Over eighty three and a half feels very like doable. And right? they and they had that emotional week this week where he was like talking out like how he had. His, uh, and Allen's like, I don't know why everyone's on his back. He's just mad at himself, which yeah. didn't look like that he, at all. He, ran the wrong, he, wrong, <laughs> yeah. he, went, he did the wrong thing. He was mad. And then Diggs came out saying he would, he loves how he has his back. It was very T.O. Romo-esque. Like, Is he running the wrong routes? Like sand <laughs> through the hourglass, so are the days of our league. Is he running the wrong routes? Or is Josh sabotaging him too busy? With his Hollywood girlfriend to get Stefan Diggs the proper amount of targets, in spite of the fact that he's had four games with over 100 receiving yards. 
He needs more. He's Stefan. Very dramatic there in Buffalo. Uh, he's which Stephane. doesn't which doesn't really match the character of the city. I, I I I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with Josh here. Stay out of their business. All right, <laughs> let them let them be. Hey, whatever. Why are we? You know, did you did you know they're the only r- team that plays in New York? Actually, mm, these true. Fraud, these frauds, Jets and Giants, they play in Jersey. Did you know that? Bills fans. All right, uh, no more quarterbacks for me. Let's, okay, do, what's do you your wanna, next one? You want to yeah. hear my non-quarterback? Let's, yeah, one? let's go. Did, did it you, better be a kicker. Do you? Oh, I I very. Graham Cano's uh, points <laughs> is at four and a half on wow. underdog. He's wow. he's money from fifty yards. I, I, if you're not watching, the guy just makes kicks. But no, I didn't go that way. Calvin Ridley higher sixty and a half receiving yards. We just watched him yeah. shred this team yeah. a couple weeks ago. We just watched him look really good. It's too easy last week, mm-hmm. and now uh, again we saw Qu- Quiddy Payback, Shaq Leonard back, but. What what's changed with Calvin Ridley and the matchup at the back end? Yeah, I nothing. Mean, if anything, if you remember, Kirk. The difference is probably Kirk did nothing that first game. Maybe Kirk does a little something, but still like the over here. I think Calvin Ridley I, on his way. He looks good, man. He's he's the first guy we've seen now come back after taking a voluntary year off. <laughs> he opted in the gambling. Well, he, and even before that, remember yeah, he, he was, was taking, taking some time, ta- taking some time, and got some better help. And yeah. so, and now he's back though. So, and he, and he looks, I think it's fair to say he looks all the way back to like, could be top, one of the top receivers in the NFL. Yeah. I mean, he certainly has looked good. There is a, uh, I was listening to some podcasts that was talking about that. Apparently there's a narrative that Doug Peterson, Christian Kirk, and I think Trevor Lawrence all bought a house on the same cul-de-sac oh, no. in Jacksonville, and that and that they're like really bonding, and that's why Christian Kirk is still a really big D- part of the. Didn't audience. go well for uh, Gruden and Carr when they, <laughs> they, they, with their neighbor neighborhood. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it the was, fireworks that go off at that cul-de-sac. <laughs> does Gruden in still have that? Must be amazing. I, I, maybe they're still cool. <laughs> I guess. Gr- I guess uh, does Derek Carr still have his place in Vegas? Probably. I yeah. Mean, he's, Why not? A, he's a rich guy. What yeah, you want to keep the tax breaks? Best way to park money is in real estate. Exactly. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg probably bought it for his garage or something. <laughs> like, Do push-ups in this house. <laughs> he bought it at 3 a.m. after he bought another house at 2:45 a.m. He's been up for 15 hours. <laughs> CJ, uh, what do you got? Wahlberg. All right. So this is why I pivoted. I all it up there. Here's a nice little fun ladder here. Also in that Buffalo. New York Giants Sunday, mm. Sunday oh, no. night. What game. are you guys doing? This is a buy low on uh, on James Cook. The Giants still do not stop the run. We all know that. <sighs> so I, so I, don't, I don't know if they, they just, don't stop the pass either. They, they don't stop the pass either. So I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I mean, there's I, everyone is going to be able to eat, but he's got a low number here of fifty six and a half to a bounce back, and you <laughs> to a game where they're going to be running. I mean, they're going to be up. Let's just say they're gonna the, the the game script might lead to a little more running the ball. I think this week for uh, <laughs> for Buffalo and you want to run and you want to pull out this. This is more than a step ladder. This will get you past the Ooh. bunk bed. This is oh. a this is a Three Stooges triple bunk uh, bed ladder. You're going whoop, rushing whoop. yards. I'm going rushing yards with James Cook. Okay. Interesting because he has he has shown us that ceiling game when they beat the Raiders 38 to 10. Mm-hmm. He had 17 carries and 123. Even again, and the Commanders another blowout victory. He had 15 for 98. Yep. This was right at the peak of Bills fans yelling at Ryan for right. criticizing their ability to rush the ball. But meanwhile, against Jacksonville, their inability to rush the ball maybe cost them uh, well, the game. And he's if, old, right? he was five for negative if four. You follow me on X I at Kramer centric. You would have seen the breakdown <laughs> of Cook's yardage in that game, and you would have noticed that most of it happened in. Fucking garbage time. Mm. There's gonna be which and, garbage time works for the ladder. Yeah, gar- but not for your team's ability to be an efficient running team when you need it against good teams like the Chiefs. Yeah, well, we're not playing the Chiefs this week, no. thank God. We're no, playing the not. Giants, well, and so garbage garbage so. time starts midway through the second quarter in this one, and then he's also, I mean, he's bound to pop one off anyway. He can get a big chunk of yardage because he's a home run hitter. To cross sports here to get your Darren Dalton jersey and oh your, yes, your Nick Castellanos. Um, <laughs> we'll go right to a hundred yards What's to the that? ladder. That's at plus five fifty. Really, and the ladder tops Dog. off 
And you said he hit 120 the other. You know, oh, he's got, he's gotten up there. 110 is where this ladder tops off, and that's at plus 850. You know, I found a I found a place offshore that has uh, ladders as tall as you want. Had <laughs> no restrictions. Well, hey, hey kids, you want to see a ladder? We'll, we'll get you a ladder by Tuesday. I like a ladder time. with no restrictions, yeah. but this one restrict restricts at 110 plus 850. I think that's pretty. That's yeah, pretty he amazing. had 123. So the the ceiling is. It does. He does it, have that ceiling. Yeah. If a man wants to bet over two hundred yards, let the man bet yeah, over right. two hundred. I, I don't I mean, understand these scared sports books. I know. If, like, let me bet dumb shit on your website. I was upset they only let me get five touchdown passes uh, for Stafford. Not, not <laughs> Come on, six. We can't break a record here. I, we remember yeah. Nick Foles. He threw for seven. Absolutely. I can see that game. It, it <laughs> was. Uh, it was like the awkward couple minutes while I when I was trying to put in our Steelers Texans thousand dollar parlay. <laughs> Last to win season. 340, and they're you know up there they're reviewing the bet. I'm like, this is this is a, <laughs> like trust me. What is this the, is the bet process? you want to take? Shut. I, well, my new thing is I just I kind of loudly uh, tilt I tilt my head back and I loudly say sharp action. <laughs> <laughs> they always get a kick out it's of that. It's a sharp button. It's nice. like a, it's like a bank. I'm they betting gotta, a, I'm betting a five leg parlay. What are you, what are you pausing right. on? Sharp action. Hit the approve button already. They got a little button underneath <laughs> the, uh, like, like at a bank uh, when they're getting robbed, they just hit the button. Uh, Kramer's coming sharp. Yeah, seriously, Sean. Sh- uh, uh, Bill, I saw Bill. Uh, this was from earlier in the show, but I, I figured I'd throw it up there because we were talking live. Oh yeah, take a look at DJ Moore ladder, fellas. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I'm, who is stopping DJ Moore on that Vikings defense? No, oh, I love it. Yeah, Justin uh, yeah, Fields. I, I, well, that's true, but <laughs> it, dude, they the figured same guy it that out. Stopped Come in on. the first two, and, three weeks, and and it sounds like uh, double check the injury report. But Cole Komet was like a late add to the yeah. injury report, so mm. he was kind of his go-to. So if if Cole Komet's out, it's just going to be Mooney and DJ Moore, and and DJ Moore gets so much work. My new policy with someone who gets added to the injury report on Thursday or Friday is they're not playing. If they, if they uh, unless I if see they someone say they're playing, they're not playing. Yeah, if they weren't added previously, that's a horrible yeah, sign. They're out. All right, what, what's how are these fuckers getting injured in practice? All right, should we? Uh, all right, so we're gonna skip first touchdown. It, it for oh, wait. I, so yeah, I didn't. I didn't give oh. out my fifth. Did oh, you give yeah. out your fifth, right? I flushed it all out. Okay. Uh, for me, my one uh, homer play. Although someone could say Zach Wilson fumbles loss is a homer play, but this is just a this is analytics based. Some would say it's a model based system. DeAndre Swift over sixty four and a half rushing yards. Mm. This Jets defense is really considered good, but I, I, they really have some holes in their game, including the rush game. One hundred forty six point two yards per game they're allowing. That's twenty ninth in the league. Four and a half yards per carry. That's twenty fifth in the league. The Eagles, when they get up, they like to ice it. They like to pound the rock and bleed the clock. This th- this feels like a offensive line statement game for them and DeAndre Swift. I, I I'm picturing a big Swift game. Yeah, Kramer? I mean they, they squeeze the life out of. I mean, what's teams. the they point? It's like a Python. Out of Rams. It really yeah, is. It's, great, like a, it's a boa constrictor. Great, yeah, great pick, Sean. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, would you take the under on that, Ryan? I I mean I. Right, not I, s- not sexy. I you you saying. use the square stat to to frame up something that might not be entirely true. they I would say What's their, not de- entirely their true. defensive line is probably uh, they're they're maybe top top ten in line yards. No like the, line yards. Mm, All of a sudden, he likes no, these crazy yeah. stats, CJ. I don't know which way to go. Well, for line it. yards is not something that a stoner eating Cheetos is 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 a uh, tabulating. about weed. <laughs> It's proper. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I, I'll be I mean, honest. Like, I'm back in on DVOA now that they added the light mode <laughs> switch on, on the website. What, Defensive like, rush DVOA. They're middle. The, they're middle of the pack. Uh, middle of say- the pack, but the, the line yard specifically, which I think for the Eagles is is the part you want to be able to like. If if you if you're gonna let the Eagles get the same push they get against a lot of teams, then they're gonna be successful. I think the Jets will be strong enough to make it. Th- this will be a, a game that Jalen Hurts will have to use his arm. That's mm-hmm. all. Uh, but what's the point of me pushing back on your stupid Eagles prop? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> good have a luck stu- pushing back against the Eagles, Ryan. That's one I, thing we're I w- good at. I wouldn't have played QB Swift, but sneaks. sure, play Swift. That's great. Cheeto stats. Yeah. Kramer was uh, Cheeto give, stats. Kramer was giving out some sexy stats. You know what's sexy? Trimming your pubes and your bush and your beard. Manscaped.com. Ah. <laughs> Damn it! Didn't bring it with me. <laughs> 
Oh, did you? <laughs> what are you talking? Back pubes back. Or, uh, <laughs> or or the manscape? I, I brought that with me since fourth grade. <laughs> uh, CJ, I know you've been enjoying. I, I have. I gifted you the handy, uh, the manscaped handyman, perfect uh, wet, dry shave. Give you that. I mean, you know, I, that, I did a little work with my show today. I did a live commercial, like the old Tonight Show, <laughs> when it would do it on the air, and I also shot a video for it later on. Oh, cannot wait! Yeah, it's good. And no irritation, no pock marks on the chin. Cause I get the neck beard going, you know, I get that around the mustache. I completely shaved it today, and it already grew back within an hour. Wow, that's, that's what amazing. the mustaches do. It's amazing. Uh, it's, that's I mean, a sign is, of testosterone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tons of tea. Uh, lo- I love the beard hedger. You, you get the uh, state of the art. Travel size package with a long lasting battery, universal charging, and a strong motor. I mean, come on, look at this, look at this manscaped. Oh. I, I have so many of these manscaped uh, travel bags. Love these things. It's just the complete package for your package. They didn't even write that. I improvised that one. You're welcome. Pretty sure that would not have cleared through standards of practices. Oh. Well, from the from the ad whizzes who came up with Balloween, I think that would be That's true. right up there. You would have got a promotion, actually. Yeah. Oh. I'd be Mr. Manscaped. Hey, get 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SGP. And of course, Hall of Fame bets. They are the uh, official sponsor of our DGEN's only parlay. And they're not crazy parlays because they're optimized with uh, the Hall of Fame bets, revolutionary parlay optimizer. They break it down by hit rates, leg by leg, expect the probability for the entire play. This, it, you just do all the heavy lifting. The deep data button makes it so easy. Stop in in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. Now, normally, normally we do do the uh, Sunday night football first touchdown bets here, Ryan. I think we'll do them on the Sunday pregame show. The prices aren't out yet. I don't know what the hell's going on. What do you think it is? If you had to guess, why would, because typically if there's a, if there's some concern about someone playing or not, it's got to be. Dan Jones, Tyrod Taylor, right? And they just take off the whole market. That, that that I mean, I'm with you. That must be the what's going on. Because if it was Barkley, you just have the backups price be close to him. You put Barkley in there. If he doesn't play, yeah. who cares? Avoid. Well, and and you are in the camp that Daniel Jones will be playing. I, everything I've read is suggesting that he's going to play, but I, I guess at this point he has not practiced. That's Friday is usually that c- critical day, so. Let's check back in about 24, less than 24 hours from now. But if he doesn't practice, they've said he doesn't need to practice to play and all that, that stuff. So we'll I would f- argue he does need to practice. Well, sure. But for the sake of uh, why the, why <laughs> the hasn't lines been good now, this season. Oh, that's, um, oh, come on. Sean. I thought, I thought, I thought CJ you're better would- than that. You're better than that. <laughs> I, Am I? Not, not everything's a hit. Am I? I? I didn't want to jump on pile on. I'm watching. I'm looking in the comments, and you have some giant fans in the comments. Oh yes, including Steffi Steph- Smalls. Yeah, not, not dealing with it. Uh, who, who is not a, not appreciating? Not my, not uh, loving it. My, so my cook ladder. Hey, yeah. well, <laughs> oh, well, we can jump off the ladder together. Yes. Uh, so nine o'clock Vison show. Maybe we'll give out some there. I or, do like Giants players though for first touchdown though. Oh, but Seriously. because when the when the spread is that big, right? The first touchdown prices become that much yeah. juicier, and you got Buffalo coming back from Europe. They might start yeah. off a little sluggish, you know, they're, in the first quarter. Well, they, 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 when you they come back from up. Europe, you got you spend a lot of time telling everyone right. about Europe, Absolutely. showing them your Instagrams, you're, you're, giving away your trinkets. You're still talking talk, about how they eat pasta. Yeah. And you're it's talking good in an pasta. accent. You call you refer to America as the states. <laughs> you're wearing a scarf. Like what the fuck? Where did this happen? You got I, your your Big Ben figurine in your mm-hmm. locker. <laughs> I mean. Uh, they were they were probably already locked in studying. They have yeah. Dable on deck. Yeah, they, they got Dable on deck. Big game. Yeah, big you're game. right, Ryan. You were you you threw out that it was a look ahead spot for the Bills to <laughs> and Ryan I, Dable, and then and you I, picked the Jaguars. I know. I fuck. No, I picked the Bills. That was the problem. Oh, sorry. You're right. You All picked right. the Bills. I, I, I picked the Jaguars. Oh, uh, they were. I told ahead. you. I I reviewed my process last week. We won't, are we won't make some of those mistakes. No, that's amazing. Again. So they went to Europe, but it was a look ahead to come back to play Dave. Yeah. yeah, obviously, <laughs> that's a good spot. You're right. You're <laughs> absolutely right. But you didn't play it. Daddy Dable's back, and well, and uh, Cole Beasley also back. 
So oh, double he is back on well, a roster. I mean, White angle release. Yeah. Cole Beasley. I can say it right now. That will be in my first touchdown <laughs> card. Yes. I, it, uh, it'll probably I, be what fifty to one, assuming he's active. It's gonna. Re- Here's what I would say. <laughs> he he would need to like Paris Campbell and Wendell Robinson play the position he plays, but in the summer. He was in the red. Zone. He was in the red zone package, so he's in all the red zone packages. White uh, angle that release. that should be a white angle release as as well as mm-hmm. probably a system play. <laughs> and and I, I do think you want to attack the tight ends and slot against this. De- this defense is kind of the gutted slot, in the middle. We know Milano's a big piece of the, the at revenge pass. game. Yeah, it's 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 right up there. Well, well in the Cole Beasley revenge spot. Yes, yeah, love that and Tyrod revenge spot if he starts. Uh, that's uh, I I was not. Maybe you thought I was trolling, but if Tyrod starts 14 and a half becomes very tempting. You I mean he's literally my Wi-Fi password at home. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I know, Love right? The man. He's a I, professional. He played Hashtag he, Dejan Zoli. Although he 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 probably has revenge against like eight different teams he <laughs> yeah. can play for. Greatest. Though. I mean, he dragged that team to the playoffs that year. Remember oh, that yeah. team? They just tossed him to the side. And, and then the Chargers doctor stabbed him in the heart. Or yeah, the, lung, the guy whatever. can't catch a break. Even though you look at his win loss, it's like, man, you could do way worse than Tyrod Taylor. Right. If only Joe Flacco got hurt at some point in that run, you yeah. could have seen how good that team could have been. <laughs> That's what he would do. You'd bring him in if you had a young quarterback you wanted to bring up. I'll come in. No. I'll be so bad. You know, him. he's also very stylish. Right. I'll so teach him, him dress. <laughs> I'll take an injection wrong. Whatever you need to do. Well, he he got paid. He he won. Well, as he should have. And, and as punctured De- his lung. As Decker will remind you, didn't hurt the team. Owner had to pay, so there he you was go. happy about that. That's All what right. it took for them to play Justin Herbert. Those idiots. That's how yeah. dumb that Anthony was. Lynn. Oh, Anthony Lynn was an all time. Right. Imagine going <laughs> Anthony Lynn to uh, to their current coach now, Staley. Staley. Mm. Anthony Lynn to Staley is just dumb they're just for dumb reasons. for completely different reasons. <laughs> now, similar level of <laughs> of like functioning as a coach, but they're they, Staley is like the guy who. Is into numbers and analytics, but has yeah, no idea to use yeah. them and use them completely wrong. And you know, uh, Anthony Lynn is like, "Fuck you, get that calculator out of my office." I'd love to get some time with you to talk about AI. <laughs> <laughs> That's Brandon Staley. All right, you want to? How big? How big is yours, Sean? Uh, real quick, we just got to get to the chat here. Do we? Forty six mantra saying uh, the wife and I drank every time uh, <laughs> Taylor Swift was shown or mentioned. She passed out, and I'm laying down ten to one parlays. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Did they show her that much? I thought they were kind of yeah. subdued with her a little bit. At least you compared know what I mean? to previous, right. yeah. I think they've listened to the like they're, they're very so reactionary in the NFL with that, you know, in networks. So they, they weren't showing her too crazy. But we didn't even we didn't even really break down the game, Ryan. We have survived to another week because we had the Chiefs as our NFL survivor. The game really wasn't. I Congratulations. mean, Congratulations. Chiefs should have. One by uh, more, I guess you could say that the Broncos well, offense was yeah. just so horrible. But anytime it was like third and one, fourth and one, and Andy Reid had to make sure <laughs> he tried oh, his best. He was <laughs> he had to make he sure, was whoop. he had to make sure Tony got a uh, have, ring around the rosy. Yeah, I mean, he, what are they doing? You have Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> and on third and one, oh God, I mean, it, it's third and one, your quarterback's Kadarius Tony. Because what the, are you doing? It's not our first year watching football. <laughs> yeah, this I is know. Just great. What I know, but I mean, they did it not. They did it like five or six it's times. It's also a Thursday night like. game, so he's like, oh, right. man, work out some of the weird stuff tonight." <laughs> it, I mean, honestly, he Andy Reid tried his hardest to lose this game, and they still covered the spread. Yeah, they still covered. It, it was it was Russ, a miracle. Like, Sean Payton is a is a hack. <laughs> he's a hack. He's not the man. No, he's not. You want to go first? My, my, I have a big one. I have a medium one, and I have a small one. Oh wow! Okay, why don't you start with your? They're small, all the same, but small it's like and it's like a building blocks or whatever. Oh, like Russian nesting doll of parlays. You want this the base, like the core entry yeah. piece. Core entry. Forty-eight to one. Someone, someone asked me, "What does Ryan mean when he says core entry?" I go, "I don't know. Ask Ryan. Why am I answering this?" <laughs> You're my proxy. Ryan's You're DMs. My proxy. Are, Ryan's DMs are open. That's. I love our listeners, but when they ask me about something you said, I'm like, ask him. I'm probably know. unhappy with my response time. <laughs> that All is right. true. That is three, an issue with Brad. <laughs> three a uh, three legs, a little bit of correlation here. We're gonna go Lamar Jackson, three hundred yards passing. Mm. Zay Flowers, hundred yards receiving, Mark Andrews, hundred yards receiving. Forty eight to one. Okay. Mm. 
Seems very doable. It's a double stack. It's a DFS double stack, and it's forty eight to one. Hmm. All right. Ryan, I'll, I'll hand the baton to you, Sean. Brian. Just breaking news. I don't oh, know if this happened? affects. I know. You're, I, I know you're all in on the Ravens, but shout out to uh, NFL Ref Stats. Just slid into our DMs with a. Oh yeah, he's a he's a fan of the program. Uh, lo- love some good Ref Stats. Shout out to Moonoff and his Ref Report as well. Mike Vrabel and the Titans, six and one straight up and five one and one ATS with Ref Bill Vinovich oh, no. at the helm, including three and zero ATS as underdogs. Uh, and he is I, the ref for this. I don't. Game. I, those are all domestic <laughs> stats. <laughs> all right. Those are Doesn't domestic travel. stats. Yeah, those are domestic. So that stats. is. Wait, is that your small, medium, or is that? That's a small. Okay, forty-eight <laughs> to one's your small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds like a big one. <laughs> CJ, yes. what do you got? That sound. That sounded big. I'll go. Uh, my, my medium. <laughs> <laughs> medium, I think, is a small. <laughs> I thought it was a small. It's medium. I got a medium here. It's sixty-nine to one. You tell me what that is. I don't know. That's nice. That's what that is. But I, but it can push to a hundred and one. I like, oh. I like okay. the ladder to I can, I can, yeah. I can push you can it. extend the ladder. Yeah, yeah, I can extend it's the ladder. It's like one of those right. tables Whoop. that you can extend out, go from right. like a four seater to. We an need like a slide whistle for the ladder sound. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm disappointing <laughs> yes. the listeners. No one has sent in a good uh, a good uh, ladder sound effect. <laughs> well, yeah, we need send those ladder sound effects in, guys. Seriously, <laughs> I'll bring a slide whistle in. But I'm gonna go. Uh, I w- I was thinking. I, I previewed it earlier with the white tight end uh, touchdowns. I don't want. I didn't have any one angle releases, but I did it with the touchdowns. Logan Thomas has been oh, hot. Wait, plus two sixty, I think, for a touchdown. Oh yeah, they like him too. Biennemi loves him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the uh, Biennemi does love him. He had a nice. He had a huge game last week, and he's starting to come on the last couple of games. Uh, Zach Ertz plus two hundred, and then what we do? We'll do the Cook ladder. Cook for a hundred yards with Ertz and Logan Thomas is sixty nine to one, and if you want to extend it to one hundred twenty oh, yards, oh. that gonna goes one hundred one to one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A little, uh, so bring whoa. that whistle out. Whoa, whoa! What? All right, my my small one is oh. not actually even a parlay. It's what? just a twenty five to one anytime what? touchdown. No, that, what? That that That's sounds like a defense maybe. End the show right now. No. Right. Interesting. That's okay, a- so are we talking backup tight end? <laughs> uh well maybe, but do you could you guess the backup tight end? Twenty five to one. Are do you giving fun will, game will you give me the game? Do, 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 do. Or is that too easy? Um hmm. no, I'm not gonna give you the game. I'll give you I'll give you like two guesses, because then the audience will get bored. Ballinger. Yeah. Well Jonas Smith. Well Jonas okay. I I'll mean Jonas Smith's starting, but Oh well he's he's the backup. If you ask the fantasy community, oh, Kyle, okay. Kyle Pitts is the star. Uh, well, oh, man, I Austin Hooper. No, oh, no, that's right up your alley. Twenty-five Keep, to one, though. Yeah, Who is it? It is Ross Dwelly mm-hmm. of oh, the wow. San Francisco 49 Wow. So I it, know what you're I thinking. Never would have guessed that. No, horrible bit. You should have just. You should have never would have guessed that. <laughs> No, I here's my here's my take on it. As we mentioned on the uh, show where we were picking the Browns, the issue is, I think they will be. George Kittle is a really good blocker, right? So they're going to keep George mm. Kittle in to slow down Miles Garrett and some of this some of this Browns defensive line. I think, I mean, you look at George Kittle. His snap share thirty one percent, thirteen percent, thirty three percent. Like he is not. Oh wait, sorry, that was Charlie Warner. Um, <laughs> oh my God! I was gonna say that seems low. I, are no, you, no, no. I, I, are you trying? I'm to, hilarious. I was messed. I was. I was gonna say. I, I was. I almost put Kittle in mine. I felt. Yeah, like, uh, I felt like an idiot. No, 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 no. Kittle, Kittle, <laughs> Kittle is obviously on the field a ton, but <laughs> so is Ross Dwelly. Twenty-one percent last week. I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's just because it was a blowout. No, he's seven, fifteen percent. He doesn't get a ton of work. But I think if there is a time to bring in the second, third tight ends near the goal line for some some Kyle Shanahan play, I think this is the team. This is the matchup. So love him at twenty five to one. Now, if you think Ross Dwelly scores a touchdown and the Cleveland Browns win the game, mm-hmm. that pays one forty to one. That's it. Book it. That is my wow. mega parlay. That's wow. it. That's one hundred and forty to one. I only no, need two like that's things. All, to that's all. Well, that's see, you're getting defensive. Yeah, I was saying that's all. Like that's all that has to happen. Just yeah. that. 
Yep. Yep. Just that. Not. I wasn't. I wasn't challenging the size of the parlay. Okay. Uh, Mark and I was gonna give. You, I was gonna ask if you wanted an assist because not only did Mark Andrews just have a big game, but uh, Browns twenty seventh DVOA against the tight end. Mm. So oh, that's that that helps support your cause. Nice. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so uh, back to mine. A little simpler than than the a lot of convoluted ex- explanations going on here, but I'll get back to it. Right, we have Lamar Jackson three hundred, Lamar uh, Zay Flowers and Mark Andrews hundred each. That was the base. That was the core entry. That was uh, forty eight to one. So if we want to add to it, which sounds like we should add to it a little bit at least. Okay, let's just say Mark Andrews and Zay Flowers they get in the end zone. One hundred forty to one. Mm, wow. And if this all happens, they're probably going to win the game big. Again, they have been practicing all week in England at the beautiful Tottenham Hotspur professional facilities. Meanwhile, the Titans are fucking hanging out at a golf course, it's basically, basically mm. Caddyshack. So <laughs> you're leaning so right, hard into this. so hard, yeah, right, a lot of money that that was super, oh, really? super hard, yeah. Mm. Uh, like basically, we'll put it up there as a third lock. It's so hard. Wow. Ravens minus 13 and a half. Add that to the pile. 325 to one. Try. Oh my God. Let's just fucking go. I'm, I've been, ha- I've been on a heater with these things. So yeah. you, you called the so, uh, Niners last week with here, it. Here's First my half, second. half. I, I know here, again. I, I felt like in last touchdown was mm-hmm. in there. Come on. A first, a second half touch. Oh if you want to play this, my uh, the way I'm going to recommend playing it. Yeah, you're going to take your pizza bet that you normally would fire on one Caesar's of these. You're going you're, to you're do a pizza bet on the small version. You're going to do half pizza bet on the medium version, and you're going to do quarter pizza bet on the big big version. Ooh. Ooh, okay, garlic, so, garlic knots. Well, what I will. like, yeah, what You're I like crazy to do, bread. No. you invert. So the la- as you go up the ladder, you want to put less on it. Mm. Smaller, think smaller unit weighs less. You have less chance of getting too top heavy. Yeah. So uh, the higher Breaking you go ladder. up the ladder, you can't have too many the, toppings. Yeah. yeah. All right. The classic uh, inverted ladder model. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Learned it in middle school. I mean, lo- I love your passion. I don't. Obviously, I'm. Um, I don't think do the mean? Ravens are gonna. Cover, but oh, what does this have to do with the Ravens cover? Oh, I thought you had Baltimore first, minus thirteen well, in one there. version, okay, but not yes. the other two. Versions. The other versions are good. CJ, do you have another one? You, I got, a, I got a big one. I keep it crispy, clean. That was a lot of confusing numbers going yeah. on there. Inverted ladder, oh, that's fine. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the big one, just three guys, and I'm going to take your Mark Andrews touchdown. One touchdown, great, Mark great. Andrews. It's uh, it's mispriced. It's uh, the fact that you can get one and a half to one is crazy. Insane. We have Mark Andrews with touchdown. Matt Stafford, five touchdowns. <laughs> James Cook, 100 yards. Clean numbers. 100. Five, five one. one. That's it. Bing. That's 170 what, to one. What are the chances that. That's that, 170 to one. What are the chances that happens and Cooper Cup doesn't get a touchdown? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. Easily. You may as well Easily. throw Cooper Cup in Kyron, there. No way. Kyron Williams gets a couple five or seven. Yeah, Higby goes off. Right, yeah. Puka. I don't like I don't like getting them involved. Who knows Sean, who Stafford wants? <laughs> the Mark Andrews anytime on underdog is is, is spicy plus one seventy five. Their own Cooper Cup in that probably just brings the odds down. He's what is he? Was he anytime touchdown? Minus yeah, you're right. He is. I mean, he's, he's probably gross. a minus. Right. He's gross. Oh wow. I'm sorry. I'm just clicking around. I'm just doing some more correlation. Oh wow. If you on underdog, if you do an a- Andrews, Lamar, Zay Flowers, and then we got to do a bring back. Who? Which Titan score, Sean? Oh, Chig. Yeah. Chig. All right. Do they have the Chig? Any? No, they don't have it. I'll go D Hop. Oh yeah, that's spicy too. All right, so these are all any t- uh so Lamar one and a half passing touchdowns higher. Mark Andrews anytime higher. Zay Flowers anytime higher and D Hop anytime higher. That pays out 57.4 to 1. Wow. Yeah, I mean I just, that was on I just did that on the fly like Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross. Can we get a Bob? He's a we noted get, improviser. No, oh, just so you're, the, you're, yeah, you're a like, master like painting right. your parlay. Painting, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little parlay painting. Well, you can have ladders when you're painting. <laughs> like it's a big ass. Yeah, I see him. Nice little path. ladder here. I gotta get to the top of my canvas. How else can you get those happy clouds? <laughs> so for Find me, ladder. Uh, my underdog uh, plays. If you put them together, DeAndre Swift higher, sixty-four and a half rush yards. 
Adam Thielen touchdown. Zach Wilson will lose a fumble. Stefan Diggs higher 83 and a half receiving yards. Justin Fields over one and a half passing touchdowns. That pays out 100 to 1 over an underdog fantasy. I have some bad news. What you can that? you cannot uh, do the correlated stuff. So oh. I, I can't I can't have Lamar in there. I'm going to have to I'll uh, take Lamar out. It's uh oh uh, it's Steven, twenty-seven and a half to one. Right. Steven Glansberg came up with a great title for that segment: "The Joy of Wagering." Oh, <laughs> it's a deep, uh, deep cut. Bob yeah. Ross I'm fans. Yes. I mean, Bob Ross, great, uh, gr- an OG content creator. Mm. OG content creator, was, indeed. He was doing. He was live. He was doing the stream way before the stream was popular. He's just painting a picture. Yeah, fucking about on that canvas. All right, hey. Uh, anything else? Wrapping it up. Uh, I'll see you in Vegas. Yes, we will be in Vegas tomorrow, today, depending on when you're listening to this. Of course, nine o'clock, the Vicent show. We're bringing back the segment. Everybody loves dogs. Yeah. Tweet us over uh, on X at Gambling Podcast with your uh, photo of your dog and your dog's favorite plus odds play. <laughs> And we will feature the our favorite dogs there. CJ, can, can a dog have a first touchdown? Yeah, as long as it's plus uh, money. Uh, Odin almost gave one out last yeah, week. Yeah, Odin, Odin, Odin with the uh, Eagles defensive touchdown Did that was hanging around. through. Of course, uh, make sure you follow CJ Sullivan on X at CJ Sullivan underscore and subscribe to the Bottom Line Bombs podcast on the Sports Gambling yes. Podcast. Everyone Network. here right now should be over subscribed to the Bottom Line Bombs yeah. on the SGP. Fun watch on YouTube as well. It is. It really, it really, really is, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you Bob for Ross. participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Second the Money Green. He's Ryan. Fucking love ladders. Kramer, let it ride.